Hey all, hope you guys are having a fantastic day and an even better week. And I want to welcome you to part three and the final part of our friend, the Holy Spirit. As you know, we've been looking at the Spirit. And if you haven't had a chance to catch up on the first two, please do. They're very interesting. Um, and so it'll help a little bit here. But just a quick recap about our friend. You know, we've looked at how he comforts us, he advocates for us, guides us into God's truth. He even intercedes, he intervenes for us even in our worst times and we don't know what to pray for, right? He's there knowing what to say to God for us. So today we're going to look at our friend and we're gonna go a different side. We're gonna look at what happens as believers when we don't do what we're supposed to, right? Can we actually hurt the Holy Spirit? So. Before we begin, let us pray and dive on in. Heavenly Father, we just want to come before you and thank you for being awesome, for being a God who loves, who gives, who's merciful, who's gracious, a God who gives us these opportunities where we can come together through the internet and just study your word, God. We thank you for technology. God, we thank you for your beautiful word that we get to share with each other. Father, I pray for all those who are tuning in, whatever the situation may be, that your hand is on them. God, that you are guiding them and that you're there for them. Lord, that you bless them and their situation. As we dive into your word today, I just pray for wisdom. God, I want us to understand who this Holy Spirit you send us. Holy Spirit, we thank you for being an advocate and a friend and a comforter. So as we begin to dive in today is uh, how we can affect you, Holy Spirit. Let us have softened hearts and minds to grasp this information, to understand that we can grieve you, that we can make you sad. So Father, we pray this in your son's wonderful, gracious, and holy name, the name of Jesus, amen. So first off, we need to know that the Holy Spirit is a friend, right? Who is here to help us. So it begs the question, can we hurt the Holy Spirit? Can we hurt this friend, right? If we don't do what we're supposed to, right? Well, the truth is our friend, the Spirit, is not much different than our normal friend, right? If you have a friend who does something to you and he hurts you, or does something behind your back, you, you're, you're saddened by that, you're, you can get angry by that, you, you, you're suffering from that, right? Because your friend did something against you, then you don't like that. Well, the truth is, that's exactly the same way with the Holy Spirit. When he, when he convicts us not to do something, he's helping us. And we do it anyway, it grieves him, right? He is literally saddened by our actions. You know, Ephesians 4.30 says, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for, for the day of redemption. Well, grieve means to make sad or sorrowful. It means to cause sorrow, pain, or distress, to make something suffer. The Spirit is our friend, right? Who is sent as a light to guide us, comfort us, advocate for us, he even intercedes for us, right? Remember, he's there when we, and even in our worst situations, he's still talking to God for us as we pray, right? He exposes our sin and guilt and convicts us to walk the path of righteousness, to try to walk as Christ did. He's there to make us more like Christ. So doing things that go against God greatly grieves the spirit who is here to help us. So remember, when that conviction happens, it's not God being mean to you. It's a friend who is trying to help you, trying to keep you safe, trying to make sure you walk with God, the righteousness, right? To walk like Christ did. We should take him seriously and try to, and we're gonna make mistakes. We are humans, I understand that, but our goal is to try to keep him from grieving, right? And to do that is to be obedient to God. 
That's what this is for. This teaches us obedience. If we walk off this book, the Holy Spirit's there to say, nope, that's not a God thing. That's a world thing. Why don't you come back over here to take a few more steps. There you go, a little bit more to the left, a little bit more to the left. Get your, There you go, you're on the right path again. And when you don't, you go, yeah, I don't want to listen to you. I think I'm just going to go this way anyway. You're, you're saddening. You're, you're grieving. It's like, man, I'm trying to help you. And you do what you want. That's grieving. Trust me, I've lived a life where I have grieved the Holy Spirit greatly. And it's something I try to work on every day. It happens. Because our carnal nature, our nature of what we want to do, sometimes affects. We don't want to listen to God. We want to do what we want to do. And, but we know that what we want to do is usually a worldly thing. It's never a godly thing, right? Because we want something. So remember, let's all try to be obedient, to follow that conviction of not doing something, not grieving this whole, gr grieving our spirit, of our friends, right? But to follow in Christ-like footsteps. So... I love you guys. I really hope this, this series is a blessing to you. I hope you kind of have a better understanding of the Holy Spirit. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to send them to me. Ask them. I will try to get back to you guys as quickly as possible. But I want you to understand that the Holy Spirit is, is, is really a truly great friend that God sends us who has our best interest at heart. So as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed week. I will see you again.